and Kate. I just want to share a little bit about why I do what I do and my story today because everything that I believe in and everything I do is really about uh, my past and what happened to me. When I was 15, I started having symptoms of lupus. I had no idea at the time what was wrong with me. I just knew it wasn't normal. I had a lot of pain. I had rashes. I had mouth sores, fatigue, and it went on for years and each individual symptom was really misunderstood by anybody that I'd seen for it, any doctor that I had visited. And by the time I reached 21, I was pretty sick. And I'd uh, been to multiple emergency room visits and so many tests and really it took a, a lot of work on my part to get an answer. And I did it by myself and I didn't have anybody to tell me what to do or to really help me. Once I finally found a doctor who would listen, um, I was diagnosed with lupus and I was immediately put on medications. Actually, I was put on medications before I was even diagnosed, which is pretty standard to see if it would control symptoms. And I learned pretty quickly that the medications that I had been put on were actually not very good for you either. Medications I had been put on were not something that I knew I would be able to stay on for the rest of my life. The question was which one would end my life sooner, the medications or the disease? I had to take matters into my own hands at that point and try to figure out what I could do to make this better. What could I do that would actually give me the life that I had envisioned before all of this had happened to me? And that's when I started to look at inflammatory agents around me what I was putting on my body, what I was putting in my body, and I started to change. I was in health at the time, and that's how I was able to get a lot of the answers and look for some of the things that I did because I knew what to do. And I used those degrees and my background and my love for nutrition to really focus on food. It still took me many years to really change how I ate, but once I was on and moved toward a real food diet, everything started to change. I was able to get off of my medications. I took some supplements. And then in addition to that, I was able to continue to work towards a real food diet. And the more and more I was able to accomplish that, the less supplements and everything else I needed. I'd been off of medications. I went through a pregnancy, a very healthy pregnancy, and did have a flare afterwards, which is very normal. And I was able to get myself back on track again with the same methods. This can be used for not just lupus or autoimmune, but other things as well, like cholesterol. And my husband's had great success with changing his diet and lowering his cholesterol. He was diagnosed at a very young age with high cholesterol from family history and just poor diet. And after all these changes, and we made these changes together, everything changed for all of us. So I'm passionate about what I do, and I would love to help you find a way to transition to real food and stop eating processed food, which is full of chemicals and other inflammatory agents that change how our body functions. So that's a little bit about me and my story and why I do what I do, and I would love to help you do the same.